G'day guys, welcome back to DG TV. My name's Ross, thanks for joining us once again. Down here at 13th Beach at the Vic Open Found, a drum and golf ambassador on the range. Thought I'd uh, do a quick watch in the bag with Matt Griffin. How are you, mate? Good to see you, Ross. Great to see you, Matt. Thanks for uh, giving us your time. It's a busy tournament prep day, so I won't take up too much of it, but I and I'm sure the people watching are always keen to get a better handle on what the pros have got in their bags. You've got a different setup here, or not a different setup, but you've got a mixed bag, I'd say. Um, let's have a quick look at what's in this bag of Matt Griffin. Drummer Golf Ambassador for how long, how long now? 14 years. 14 uh, years of Drummer yeah. Golf. He's one of the, our most loyal supporters and we do appreciate having him on our team. One of the nicest guys in golf, but uh, one of the best players that uh, I know as well. What's in the bag, Griffo? So I guess we start with the driver and I've just, um, this is newly in the bag. So first week at Rosebud was last week. It's the uh, Rogue, new Rogue Street driver. Uh, I've got eight and a half degree, but on the minus one setting and low spin, so with the triple diamond. So it's basically set, I get this set up so I can hit it pretty straight with a little fade generally, and then uh, if I want to turn it over. So I've, I've been using a Callaway driver for the last three years and it's been been amazing, it's really helped my, helped my driving. Now just a little sneak peek, we've been down here with the full swing kit launch monitor. You might have seen Tiger Woods using that and promoting that, well Matt's been testing it out. Numbers pretty good, what are we what are we cranking this out to? Yeah, really good carry. So that's carrying sort of mid mid to 250 so yeah. um, and then and it, when it gets on the ground it, it runs so it's ideal rogue stls fairway yeah so again sort of in that lower 15 degree 15 degree loft but a little bit lower spin because i've always spun the ball a bit higher so i like the clubs that take a bit of spin off uh, and this has been working really nicely i love the Love the head. I've, I've been with the, these kind of, with that sort of fitting on the side of the head, but first time I've used this for, for a few years and it's, it's, it's feeling really nice. So. so we've got the fixed loft here at 15, we've got the adjustable yeah. loft here, we've got the Tensai uh, CK Tensai, Series yeah. uh, TS70 here and we've got the 60X here, so yeah. strong, strong shafts for a strong player. What about yeah. the irons? Yeah, so then we get into, um, I've got the three iron in the Callaway. Uh, basically just with that sort of more driving iron style of thing and then I've got the TS100 um, in the S irons again hit the ball a little bit high always trying to get the ball to come get a little bit out of the air great in a week like this at 13th Beach uh, and these are really nice iron and I, I moved about two years ago to the KBS tour shaft yep. and it's been a really good shaft for me feel like just good stability through the air and kind of just hit the ball pretty straight with a little bit of movement either, either way you know, this shaft, the C-Tape KBS Tour, has been around for a while now, you know, but, you know, you've just moved into it and, you know, it delivers for the stronger player, just that beautiful ball flight. It's a real good one, I, I like it, and uh, I've had it once, but, um, yeah, it's a great shaft. What about the wedges? Yeah, so I've, I carry four wedges. I've got the standard wedge in the in the pitching wedge, and then I go, f I've got 50, 56, and then 60. So, mix of bounces, I've got 12 degrees bounce in the, in the 50. And then I've actually just changed to trialling a new with 12 degrees, just to give a little bit more bounce, those longer bunker shots, and, and even a little bit better through the air. So, uh, and then I go to a 60 M, M degree with my uh, lob wedge, which is great for sand belt conditions. I've also just added a K that I'm gonna take, that'll go away with places like maybe in Queensland yep. or places like Japan where I want a bit, little bit more bounce. Spongy, a little bounce so, yeah. Um, yeah, but it feel, yeah, I feel really comfortable with, the, with, 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 with my clubs and finish off with the most important club well, in the bag. Well, I was just gonna say uh, before I interrupted you, Matt, and sorry about that. Um, one thing I know, and I don't get to hang around with tour players very often, but when I do, the first thing I always look at is the putter, and there's usually something pretty special in there, so, as you were about to say. Yeah, well this is, um, I've actually, I mucked around all last year, I was struggling with my putter, and I'd gone away from this putter, uh, and I was changing putter once or twice a week, and it was crazy, because I've this is the putter I've won a lot of my events with, I've used it for a good, it's probably had a good six, seven years in the bag, and I, I went back about a month, month ago to it and immediately just feel a lot more comfortable and I feel the most, well, it makes sense, but if you can, if you know where the ball's coming off the putter and it feels, it feels like the putt you hit is actually what you hit, then it's half the game's solved. So really happy with this. It's a nice, one of the, obviously the tour Scotty, but you can get something basically the same in any drum and golf store. And, uh, but yeah, it's my old trusty. So hopefully uh, you'll see it in the bag for a few years yet. Hey, good luck with this weekend, Vic Open. It's great to have this tournament back. We didn't have it last year, it was missed. There is a pretty big carrot on offer for the players here, being those three spots to the Open, which is just a, a late breaking bit of news. How does that get the players excited? Yeah, it just adds that little, extra little bit of, bit of spice to the event. And 
I know any time you get to play majors is really exciting, but the 150th Open at St Andrews is, is probably the biggest major that since I've been a pro. So, yeah, definitely be uh, grinding out there and hopefully uh, nabbing one of those spots come Sunday night. Mate, well best of luck with that. Uh, we appreciate your time, we appreciate your role as a Drummer Golf Ambassador because you do uphold all the brand values um, very, very well and uh, we appreciate you. Good luck on behalf of all of us. No, th and thanks to the Drummer brand for supporting me and, uh, and when you look at all this, this takes the most important, almost the most important thing you can do in golf is get your bag set up right. So get in there, get in, see the guys. The guys and girls give you good, good fitting and, and you'll shave shots off your game in no time. There you go, Matt Griffin. Australasian, Japan tour, all-round good guy. Thanks, Griffo. Easy. Thanks, Ross.